Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jake Akia Tag, and today we're back again with the best champion to solo carry games. Vayne can actually win 1v5 if you play her well enough, especially in the top lane. Right now, she's my most played champion in the Platinum League. Let's show you guys the best setup for her. You always want to be taking Conqueror to maximize your damage. You could sometimes take Fleet Footwork if you're not confident in your kiting abilities and you need the heal, but Conqueror is better if you're a better player. Also, you want to end up taking barriers so you can survive longer, especially in the assassin dominant meta with Zed and Akali everywhere. So let's go jump right into a game and show you guys why Vayne is one of the best champions in Wild Rift. All right, guys, so jumping right into the fun. Unfortunately, we were trying to go top lane with Vayne and then Darius was like, no, I'm going to auto lock Darius after you already chose your champion. It happens a lot, guys, but man, I'm stoked for this one. So we're going to be playing against a Misfortune and then a Lulu probably, it looks like. And Corky should usually be in mid, but what, what is Corky doing? Is Corky jungle? Is this man trolling us out here? Oh my gosh, look guys. Is our Lux going to try to snag? Yes. Let's go. Let's get this. Let's get this MF. Let's get this Misfortune. Oh no. We were ready. My body was prepared. It was going to be glorious. So this Lux is playing so aggressive. I love seeing that. I hate when we sometimes will have people that just... Do not fire off abilities as a support and you're like, but we need attack. So one thing about uh, Vayne is we don't have any slow. We don't really have anything besides our level three ability. So first things first, we always want to level up our first one, which is a tumble, which gives us a gap closer. And if you are playing in the solo lane, it gives you a way of mitigating your opponent's uh, damage. So you can get away from things that are troublesome and scary. Especially when everyone's like a melee champion and you are the uh, big damage dealer here. So try to get damage on top of the MF because that is their ADC. You always want to kill the ADC first in the dragon lane. If you kill their ADC, they don't have any damage. Then you can focus the support. But if you kill the support and then the ADC is still attacking, you're like, wait, what's going on? Okay, so we're not going to fight here. We're just chilling. If we uh, just hold the wave here and last hit minions, they have to walk up if they want XP. They have to walk up if they want to kill this stuff. Otherwise, we just slow roll and crash a huge wave into them, and I'm okay with that too. Barely just going to last hit here. Don't really care. They're losing so many minions, and they're going to be extremely sad here. So we're going to go and clap that last minion. So three attacks in a row on the same successive thing without changing target gives you an empowered auto attack if you continue to level up level two. So you want to just level up the second ability as much as possible. Also, Lulu can turn her allied teammate into a big giant, as you just saw. MF was jacking the beanstalk out there, guys. It was crazy. So we're going to see what we can do here. We're not really going to go in because uh, Vayne is a late game champion. If we get an opportunity to go in and uh, stun against the wall, that's the third ability, you can blow back your opponent with a third ability. And if you knock them into a wall, it does extra damage and it stuns them. So that's really good. But as you guys are seeing right now, we're just leveling up the second ability. We're trying to just cascade this into our opponent. I missed my first creep. That feels bad, man. But as long as we don't miss the cannon, we're chilling. As long as we don't potato this cannon really hard to miss the cannon though so we're gonna go and hit that real quick we're level five so we're just gonna push this wave really fast as well i don't think that they have much on us they definitely went back for items but it's okay my uh my my lux support also went back as well so i should have went back with her and I, but at the same time i wanted to crash the minion wave into the turret so we would get even more value we're three and two right now so our, our team's doing quite well interesting game so far we haven't really seen too much happen but at the same time if we don't have things happen and we're playing vain we like it a lot so just gonna try to chip away on these minions last hit here oh if i had heal i would definitely use it there we're gonna bounce back a little bit mf used her ultimate so she can't do much corky's down here so there's three people that's a party this is a fiesta and we do not like that oh my goodness okay so we're gonna bounce back we're gonna try to hit our ultimate here i'm gonna go and click my barrier if we can kill corky this is a vibe oh we are definitely gonna go and kill corky kill me corky kill the corky all right we're gonna flash into you you're dead i just wanted to secure the kill kill secured and we finish off all of those minions as well last hitting them take the gold snag that last one here we go let's get that as well so we have not missed minions at all here and it feels good i'm gonna back really quick so then we can hit our blade of the rune king 
and we are hard chilling. Unfortunately, I don't have enough gold to go and snag boots so that I could get back even quicker, but I'm not missing that many minions, guys. A full purchase on your first back is not something that you should traditionally do, but we are kind of trolling in this game. So if we get to late game, as I said before, that's where we really pop off. So I'm just trying to get there without dying, really not trying to feed the enemy team. Also, what is he doing? He is one of the worst junglers that you could play. If you guys are looking for like an easy jungler, look at one of my earlier videos. Amumu is definitely it. So we're gonna go and snag that. I can get uh, a kill here if we just get a snare with Lux. I'm also gonna try to knock MF back into the wall. Okay, Corky's coming down again. She wants a revenge on us. We need back up. We need back up. Uh, are we gonna fight this? Is this is this a play? I don't like this. I really don't like this one bit. Yeah, we're backing up. We are not fighting this. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. No, back up, back up, sir, <laughs> sir. No, this is bad. All right, so I have to hold the door. And there's three of them down here. Oh, wait, why is Yi down here, too? Okay. I didn't even notice that Yi was down here. Yi, what are you doing, you wild, wild sir? Okay, so we're going to snag that minion. We've been taking all the minions, so I think that our gold lead is pretty huge against Miss Fortune, which always feels good. Yeah, we're up 600 gold, guys, and we only have one kill uh, difference, so that's, that's really good. That's like a 200 gold difference from um, just minion farming. So Yi is... Doing his thing. He's just, you know, casually taking the misfortune damage. He's also stealing my farm. Who lets you do that, bro? I know some people would just, like, rage quit and, like, leave the game sometimes when you see that. All right, we're just going to try to double kill here. I want to take that other one. Let's go. So I get one assist, one kill. We take that. And uh, Rift Herald is going to be up soon. We could take Dragon. That's also a possibility. I want to just clear the wave really quickly, though. I want to make sure that I don't miss any. I want to knock the wave back into the turret. So there we go. Now they're going to have to deal with that wave and they won't be on dragon. They'll be preoccupied. One thing that you guys need to do is you need to go and meander your way around the dragon. See how Lux is right in the red circle? She's giving the enemy vision. She's just like, yeah, I don't care. Also, how did I take dragon there? Why, why did the jungler not take it? What is going on? Oh my gosh, get out of that real quick. We escaped like a bank robbery there. The real money heist is here. Okay, so we've got two kills, one assist. I'm pretty okay with this. I think we can pop off hard if we can just back and use our gold again. Oh, but we're full HP and there's two people that would just demolish our turret. I can't let it happen. In good conscience, I just, I'm just not about it, guys. We gotta wait. We gotta wait and see if we can make something happen here. Oh my God, Lux, you animal. Lux is an animal. She's too good for her own good. You'll love to see it. So we're gonna go in. We're definitely gonna be able to kill her. <laughs> Oh, that's hot. That's hot. I used barrier in case she tried to get frisky with me. I did not want to get stunned under turret or something or slowed under turret and then ulted. It was just too scary, guys. Better be safe than sorry. Take damage with the barrier if you're going to go in for a all-in fight, especially under turret instead of taking it to your hall because, um, yeah, it's just scary, man. I'm not about that life. So we are up four kills to zero right now for us. And I should be able to snag that. That's awesome. I'm going to take that as well. Mr. Yi, JK Boss, what's going on, brother? So, back in here is generally not the play. I shouldn't even be showing myself. I have 4,000 gold. I am such a troll. Guys, one of the biggest errors of my gameplay today is literally having 4,000 gold and not spending it. You, you don't want to have that. There's way too much gold on the board. If you guys can get a full item, you generally just go back, even if it's like a less than optimal recall, just because, well, you need to convert the gold that you have into an advantage that is tangible, but we can't really see it. It's just chilling there. It's like a hypothetical advantage that I've just never been able to use. And now, now we get to use it. So we're going to destroy this man's hopes and dreams. I should be able to just kill both of them here with no problems, no questions asked. We'll see if that wants to work out. We're going to be able to kill Lulu here first. I don't necessarily like killing Lulu first, but we'll see. Wait, is our, is our Lux not coming up with us? Ah, oh, that's okay. Lux decided to not really go up with us, so we weren't able to get the kills. But it's all good. <laughs> oh, man. This is not happy with Yi. I wonder what Yi did. Usually, whenever someone dies in a team fight, there's always some type of rage. You gotta love it. It's predictable, though. So, are we able to just eat that frog like a like a snack? Wait, guys, could that frog be a prince? I mean, I've heard Disney fairy tales of so many frogs being princes. Did we kill a prince? I hope not. I hope not. That makes me a sad panda. Okay, so we're going to go and snag all those minions quick. 
definitely want to go and take that tower if we can as well. Okay, Misfortune is uh, getting polymorphed by Lulu. That's scary. Get away, get away, get away. Run away. Run, Force, run! <laughs> okay. Uh, we're at a good spot. I'm still liking it. I want to be able to cruise through and kill Wukong if possible. So we'll do it. We'll do that. We're able to snag that kill. That's awesome. Boom! So, uh, we do kill Wukong, but at the cost of our Fizz dying, which is, it's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm a big greedy, 5-0 and o feels good. How many kills can we get this game, guys? Can we just, can we not die and just get all the kills? Can we, can we have half the kills of the team? That would be so sick. All right. So, I'm going to go and snag this as well. I want to be able to take the turret because I just want more gold because I'm a greedy, greedy boy. Right, I need to back up because I, I can't die here. It's against my religion to die for no good reason. So it looks like I need to be able to secure a solid uh, solid foothold with the just vision. Oh, can we? Yeah, Corky's going through the jungle. Corky's done. Corky's done, so guys. See how important it is to look at the minimap? I don't always look at the minimap, but when I do, we get rewarded handsomely for it. So I'm liking this. Uh, we can go for Dragon that's up in 10 seconds, so that's ideal. Oh, I don't have enough gold. I don't have enough gold. I'm so troll. We can just go and snag that. RFC, Rapid Fire Cannon, makes me attack way faster. You take Blade of the Rune King as your first ability or your first item because it gives you attack speed, it steals stats from your opponent, and it gives you life steal. So it's kind of like the jack of all trades, and it's good in almost every situation. Okay, here we go. Give me the kills. So that's one kill. That's what we like to see. All right, can we get another one? Can I knock him into the wall? No, I missed the wall knock, but I don't think it's gonna matter. We still, no, we uh, we go on the wrong thing, but we can kill Corky. Give me the coil on the Corky. Come on, Corky on the cob. Just give me the Corky on the cob, we love it. Give me the third, Hey! Okay, that was three kills and we're legendary out here. That feels pretty good, guys. <laughs> Despite not playing that optimally and missing the wall knock, we still destroyed and ate Corky on the cob, baby. So, we're going to snag that tower, and I think that with 8 kills and no deaths, we can maybe even start to pressure the inhibitor. So, sometimes I would uh, actually justify dying for the inhibitor, just because, well, if you take an inhib, it's permanent. They can't get that back, no matter how hard they try. You, no matter what their willpower levels are at, they can't stop you. So, Vayne is popping off on all of those creeps, too. I maybe can go and snag... I mean, that's dragon. Why are we not taking dragon? Why are we not taking Dragon? That is, that is a very good question. An astute observation for myself. Oh, wait, what is Corky doing? Corky, 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 Corky? What are you doing, sir? Do you think that you can contest me? I am literally 10-0 and 0 when you're trying to fight me. This is the most optimistic play ever. I, you know what? He probably wasn't trying to fight me. He was probably just going to go try towards Dragon or something. We'll see. Also, uh, yeah, we're going to go and snag that. He was up in there. And, uh, oh, we got to help. We got to defend. We can't let them break through. This is against my religion to let this happen. Get out of my juncture, sir. Okay, so we're going to go and hit you in the... Oh, no, I just I just literally dropped my ability on the clone. That's how potato I am. It's okay. We're still killing it. As you guys can see, when Vayne hits late game, she is basically unkillable. She has so much lifesteal, so much attack power, that if you play against people in platinum or lower... Uh, they don't really know what to do against it. They just they just roll over and die because the champion is so broken late game. So we will see. And if you play at higher stages, maybe like Diamond or Emerald, it can get a little bit more difficult. But guys, we're just we're just feeding on the champions right now. There's nothing they can do. So I'm gonna recall. Actually, I don't even need to. I, it's kind of troll. That's kind of troll. Let's just go and take Baron, and then we can go and push mid and then win the game. You know. I wanted to just maximize my build and show you guys that I have max build at like, uh, you know, very, very close into the game or 13 minutes into the game. Oh my gosh, Wukong. Wukong, what are you doing? Come on, Tarzan. Come at me. Get at me, bro. All right, we're, we're coming in. We're going in there like swimwear, sir. You're not getting out. Oh, you're polymorphing, but you're dead. You're nope. big dead. Oh, come on, man. Come on. He escaped. I said he was big dead and I cursed myself, honestly. The only logical conclusion that we can derive from this. Also, I have 5,000 gold, so you guys thought I was trolling at 3,000 or 4,000 gold and not spending it. What do you think about 5,000 gold and not spending it? That's next level sorcery. Okay, so we're going to go and snag that, and yeah, I mean, that's about as much gold as I can spend. So if you guys don't know, after you take Baron, you can immediately reset, and the, the reset to your base is even faster. So that's a lot of things that newer players don't know. Um, I should have reset pretty much immediately after taking in, spent my gold, but I have Potato. 
Also, my ultimate's about to be up. It boosts my stats like crazy, so we'll see if we can not die here. Oh, they're all jumping on me. They are all, they all want a piece of me right now, guys. We're gonna kill Corky. Corky on the cob is gone again, eating alive like a snack. And we are 13 and 0, baby. This is popping off with a triple kill too. Our entire team just made them surrender. They don't want to play anymore. They couldn't handle the heat. GG and well played to these guys. As you guys can see, we actually got MVP and we had the most damage in the entire game. That feels so good. This is why we love Vayne. Honestly, guys, if you are looking for an ADC that is really fun, lower in the ranks, that will improve your spacing and your maneuverability, make you better at the game, and just an all-around late-game monster, Vayne is it. You can 5v1 if your team's not playing well, especially if you get an early lead, but stick it out even if you get a bad start because the late game is where you shine. So GG and well played to everyone that we played against. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit me up with a fat thumbs up. Let me know down below in the comment section what champion you guys want to see in a future video. And if you guys are new here, subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks for watching. Thanks for chilling with me, and I'll see you guys in the next one.